Well, it's still running. That's a good sign. I wonder how much gas I've got. Oh, it's so hard to find neutral in this thing. But that'll fucking work. Let's see, can I see how much fuel I got? Yeah, right there. Nice. All right, so anyway, what I was saying is, uh, yeah, so I got this Berg, man. 252 pounds. Dry. Uh, and of course, it's got a rear subframe tank on it. I bought it from a dealership up in PA, uh, which I was a little bit disappointed in. Um, I got the bike, it was delivered on the, you know, allbikes.com or whatever, and, uh, you know, I get the bike, battery's almost dead, the tires are flat, uh, especially the front tube was, uh, it didn't even take any air, wouldn't start, so I get the bike, I take it home, you know, well, I take it home, I had to take it, to, I had to take it home because, the, uh, the truck couldn't get down to my house, so he had to like run over, uh, I think he had to go down like three houses or whatever to this main street, but this, that's not a big deal. Um, so I got the bike home, cleaned it up, the chain was filthy. Uh, you know, I even asked those guys to like clean it up or whatever, just wash it off, clean the chain, no big deal. Um, and my biggest, cons my biggest gripe, I rather, was, uh, they said it didn't have front turn signals, so they had to put in uh, those cheap LED, not LED, but those cheap bulbs. Those little yellow ones that stick down there. But <laughs> these are turn signals within the, the hand guards. So they lied to me about that to get an extra 115 bucks out of me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just crazy. I'll, I just put new tires on here. Yeah, those are tracks. And, uh, and still trying to get used to the bike. I'm running um, like 1.5 bar in the tires right now. Uh, and they seem to hunt a little bit. I don't know if you guys know if you guys know too much about those tires. I don't know shit about them. Uh, but the only reason I bought them is because they were on, uh, you know, uh, motorcycle. Uh, Huh, now I forgot the name of it. I don't know. What are those what are those online places? Um, and it was a package deal and it was like hundred bucks. So I was like, sure, yep, yeah, I'll get these, put them on here real quick, because the ones that were on here were crap. Uh, yeah. So we'll just wear these out. I don't think they're gonna last very long. They probably won't last for like maybe a thousand miles, but that's good enough for now. Just to get used to the bike and the sand and everything. Uh, I got to tweak that Scott's. They bike pretty good, but I tell you what about this 570 is that, man, you can get that back tire out quick. All that fucking torque, man. That's awesome. Yeah, so overall, I'm pretty happy with the bike. Uh, of course, the first two days I had it, I had to take it, you know, take the front headlight assembly off, recheck all the wiring. It had, uh, what else did it have? It had heated grips on it, which were nasty. Uh, there was like, you know, excessive grease on this right side throttle side. And uh, I don't know how many guys do this, but you know, the whole uh, uh, safety wire in your uh, grips on, okay, that's cool. When I was an aircraft mechanic, we used to safety wire all kinds of stuff, but never rubber grips. So I took all that off. I took all the old grips off, 
Yeah, it likes to hunt a little bit, that tire. Um, cleaned it all off and just bought some, like, uh, you know, kind of cheap rubber grips for now. Uh, but I'm a big fan of foam grips, so we'll get some of those in here pretty soon. Uh, yeah. So, what was I? I don't know. The grips, yeah, they are messed up. They were garbage. Just overall, I really wanted to buy it because of the, uh, the low miles it has on it. It had, uh, you know, just a little over 2,000 miles when I got it. And uh, I was really just excited about this whole 70 degree uh, singular, single cylinder. Watched all those videos on uh, YouTube or whatever I could find about the, uh, the Husaberg uh, story and everything. And I was just so fascinated about that motor. Yeah, it hits that sand and bogs down. I don't know because of the weight or the tires. Yeah, they have a hard time hooking up in the sand. Anyway, that's for another story, another, another video. I was just really fascinated about that motor. Uh, and it's fucking cool. Pretty much. That's about it. But yeah, I just... Those tires just got completely unhooked from that sand just now. And that wasn't even a big corner. So yeah, so... And they, uh, I think the last video I put out, I was talking about these roads. Um, so yeah, so I'm heading out. I just put the tires on it. Um, I just finished the electrical work yesterday. I went through the whole bike, made sure it was up to, uh, you know, up to snuff. And now uh, this is the first maiden voyage out. And so far, I'm pretty happy with it. Maybe after, you know, get some new tires here and there, but, uh, I mean, you can't, oh man, you can't beat the 1190, uh, the KTM, but, um, it is, uh, the KTM's a, a freaking tour, you know? It's an adventure bike. It's a big bike. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> go anywhere, do anything, and take long distances. But this thing is 252 pounds compared to 500 and what, 14 pounds? Man, what is on my fucking nose? Oh, I see you. Fucking hair in there. Whew. I want to let some of that air out. Front tire. Just a wee bit. You gotta be careful though, because I don't have any tools on me. Or a pump. So what I got is what I got. Yeah, that's better. Cool, man. You guys have seen all this shit before. Let me find something new. I'll see you in a minute. Not know this trail at all. Okay, don't want to get wet today. <laughs> 